Hey, what's good, YouTube? Mike here, and this is Pro Guitarist Reacts. And uh, I had a request for this next video. It was in the comments of my Marcin video. Marcin is from Poland, very incredible guitar player. And uh, there was a uh, request for Justina Stutzkowska. And uh, I don't know if I said that right. I'm doing my best. But yeah, regardless, let me know if I, if I came close. The song is called Witch Tara Horo, and I'm not sure if I said that right either. This is the official music video. I'm pretty sure I said that right. And uh, from here, where do we go? Well, I guess uh, without further ado, we just start the video. Click like and subscribe. You dig the vibe, and let's jump right into it. So that's about all I know about this artist is I believe they are Polish. Justina Stetskowska. Stetskowska? I'm not going to try anymore because I probably came closer the first time. Here we go. Sounds like it's going to be an intense song. What was that? There was something strange on the uh, vocal on the first line there. Production wise. Right there. How do you? Sounds like um, I, I don't I I think you would use pitch correction to do that effect. I'm not certain though. Huh. Cool. You can see the writings on the So many influences in this, like the chord structure itself isn't too dissimilar from like uh, heavy metal from the late 80s or 90s, you know, with like that Phrygian type of sound to it, Phrygian being like uh, the chords moving a semitone up. Right, and then it comes in with this... Um, Latin beat. It's kind of cool. So it's a fusion of styles, if you will. Her voice is also uh, pretty big sounding. Uh, it's reminding me of somebody, but I can't put my finger on it yet. What do you call this genre? Uh, maybe dramatic pop? Dramatic pop? It's intense. It, so it has the intensity of a, of a lot of uh, fringe styles. Like I, like I mentioned already, like by fringe, I just mean like, I guess metal was once the mainstream, but uh, I don't think it is anymore. Um, so yeah, they're, they, they seem to be boring. And, and the sounds and stuff are, are more like, uh, 
I'm guessing it's like an 808 that like the bass and stuff. Uh, sounds like it's all, you know, keyboards and that kind of stuff. I'm really taken with the music, so I, I, I want to focus more on the on the singing for a little. Uh, I, I can't even compare this to anything. I got taken away. I wanted to roll back to this section. Uh, I think it's verse two, where there's some kind of a percussive loop going on before the beat comes in. Mmm, tasty. Tasty production wise. <laughs> right after this part. This. I don't know what it is. It reminds me maybe a little bit of uh, tablas. It's a bit of an Indian feel. So Indian feel and a Latin feel. And I guess that that metal progression that's also uh, associated with like flamenco guitar. Uh, so yeah, you could say Spanish feel. Catchy. It's really catchy. That chorus is filled with hooks. Those drums sound huge.
Huh. I didn't even mention how amazing that video is. Good Lord, who, who directed this video? Song was catchy as hell. Man, was this a huge hit in Europe or, or, or Poland or anywhere? I mean, this must have been. Yeah, this is huge. I could picture this in the clubs. I don't know. I haven't been to the clubs in a long time, but my, my, in my imagination, people would dance to that in the clubs. For sure. So many percussive uh, elements to it. And uh, yeah, great singer. Is she, uh, is she as good live? I would be probably most curious to hear how she sounds live at this point. You know? But I do got to say the song was really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm, uh, again, I'm Mike, Pro Guitarist Reacts. I uh, love the tune. Give me some more requests and I will get to them. Um, I'm going to get out of here though. All right. So peace out for now. Click like and subscribe. And, uh, Put a yo down in the comments if you made it all the way to the end of this video so that I'll know that you're still with me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Bye.